Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. My name's Catherine from Soul Siren Tarot, here to do your general October reading. All right guys, as always, before we start, thank you, thank you to all the current subscribers, all the newbies on board. Growth of the channel, phenomenal, so thank you. Um, I've also, you may know, we've put an update video out today, just give you, um, you know, what we're planning with the channel in the coming weeks, months, etc. So great if you can have a look at that. It's only about three minutes long. See what you think and give us some feedback. All right. If you are new to the channel, it's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody. If it does, great. I hope it helps you, Aries. If it doesn't, just kick it to the curb. If you know something it would help, please do share. Okay. I will do a part two, an extended version. So if it does resonate and you want to purchase the part to link I know to get that is in the description box below to Vimeo uh, and if you are new to the channel and you haven't already please please do subscribe help us keep the channel running okay darlings Aries I've pre-blessed the deck I have got a few slots open in October for readings private readings there, 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 there are a few but just because of all the work on the channel and fitting it all in so if you are interested details below email me at soulsoundtower at gmail.com for Aries please looking at Right, right, it Aries, here we go, Geronimo, right. This is an Aries who's manifesting a brand new beginning, right? And it's a big beginning. When you get the magician, it's not um, a slight change in your life or a slight twist. It's like I'm making a fucking major life change typically, right? And you can see next to it is the Seven of Cups. That's options, options about to open up, many options, right? So I might, you might, I might be connecting with an Aries who's been really pushing hard, wanting to see change, wanting to see growth, but just feeling like it's a bit stagnated, it's not happening. But I can see these cups are filling up, ready to come in. But you have to be careful with the Seven of Cups as well, right? You have to pick up on your lessons from the past because not every cup, is golden yeah all that glitters isn't gold so where is it's like it's a little bit of it's like wonderful in terms of wow this is all going to start opening up options coming to you but it's also a watch out mate because there could be something we're trying to burn you as well all right so using those lessons from the past and that's why we go through the lessons of the past so that we can learn and grow from them but leading out with this magician i just feel it's it's not even you know a brand new chapter it's a brand new book it's, it, it's like you're about to i want to say explode onto the scene you know maybe you were doing something behind the scenes here aries and all of a sudden it's about to go boom for you which is gorgeous yeah uh, it, it, it's 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 upright so it's positive and it's the start of this major arcana and it can be one of the most difficult steps because it requires you to have absolute faith emotion and i want to say devotion that's what I feel there is, right? But that's where you've got to watch these options because someone might be trying to hold you back, just be wary. Or, you know, it, it might be thinking, oh, I'll take this quick fix. But, you know, it, actually, it's not long-term great success, right? Okay, yeah, see, so, look there's still some healing happening here for this Aries and I feel this new beginning you're creating is coming out of past hurts with the four of swords yeah and you can see I was, it's like it's the three there the four but then this sneaks in which is like the battlefield for me it's the knight of swords and it feels like the battlefield which is the five of swords so I feel this is an Aries who who, who took themselves off the battlefield and has been resting and rejuvenating and, it, and it's like you, you, you are getting up now and you are getting ready to move forward and you are getting getting ready to I want to say grow I, I'll just get this sense that it's a big boom that's what again because as well I've got the chariot here and the, the chariot so again a bit fast forward movement major change major positive yeah change so it's beautiful in that way and you might be feeling a little bit nervous so I don't know I may be connecting with an Aries who's like I don't know I wanted this promotion type thing this big job but now I've got it I'm shitting myself or you know I wanted this business but now I've got it I'm not did I really you know it's this sort of unsureness uncertainty that I'm picking up almost like the divine saying did you want it or did you not make your decision yeah make your decision as you make the decision choose the right cup the the the, the cup that it is the long-term success that's what i want to say to this series but there's so many changes in the 
universe right now. Fucking hell, hang on. That, you know, excuse me, yeah, yeah. There's so many changes in the universe right now that, that people are getting this more creativity and it's lovely to see. Look here, right? That just if this isn't the one that's going, it just flipped over on it, the Knight of Swords, I told you. I'm putting him back in because this is the one that actually, you know, hit the flu. Um, is the two of swords this is a decision again and it's mirroring that magician but when we get the two of swords it can, it's too it, it's risky it's, it's like there's a risky decision to make or you may feel it's risky because you're not guaranteed you know the outcome you've just got to sort of take a bit of a gamble here um, and you're not sure which way to go and maybe that's what's pushing you back into your healing energy a little bit you know it's like oh just close the curtains for a minute you know let me step back a minute did i really want this careful what you wish for but i think you did really aries you do really it's just it's, it's, it's a little bit of nerves you know like think of a good athlete or a singer or you know someone who is in the i want to say in the public because i feel this might be an aries who, who's, who's moving into a public domain they're always nervous before the show aren't they they're always nervous before the big race doesn't matter who they are from what i know they're always nervous because it, you know you're as good as your last you know race or show and, and and that's the pressure they're under and that's what i feel with this area it's like i need to make a decision and i'm caught i'm almost like backing away from it yeah but there's definitely going to be options presented to you in the coming i want to say week or so week to 10 days maybe um because i've got the seven and the two with the options and the two of swords that i feel i feel um you are going to feel a little bit risky to you but but you've got to make them it's like you've, you've got you know you've got to show your metal yeah you got you got to batter up yeah aries uh, and take control of the reins can you see like with the chariot it's like the chariot's here sorry i got buzzing in my ear then i don't know what that's about right you can see here the chariot but he's got firmly hold of the reins firmly hold of those reins i am taking this forward i am doing this journey yeah it's very it feels the, the sort of underlying essence is like the full moon reading which is like uh, i can i will i am you know i, I I'm, I'm positive change and no one's best getting me away with them horses there right nobody best getting my way coming under the magician here hermit yeah you now have the wisdom areas that you needed the, the hermit is often a dark night of the soul and and it's got but it's, it's going in to a period of deep reflection yeah and sometimes that's a very lonely place where the hermit is because you can feel quite alone as you're reflecting learning you know what have, what, what happened there why did it happen um and and but what you learn is to dip, dip in and out of this energy and again i'm just feeling like you might be just stepping a little bit back into your hermit just for a minute just for a minute just to check your wisdom talk to your sage yeah and say which one which is beautiful because when you're presented with the seven of cups often people just snatch the first fucking cup that's presented you know or the one as i say that looks the, the spark, most sparkly and that's not always the case right so using the skills you've learned on this journey is what i'm feeling but three majors here magician chariot and the hermit it's it's you're going to make some sensible wise decisions coming up and i do see success here with the magician leading it's lovely wow i saw this when i was pre-blessing the deck for you and it's come out ten of cups it's coming under that seven of cups right so this could be a love relationship as well or is it could be both business success and love but you, can you see the happiness and joy in this card and the peace and i just feel again this is where you're heading this is where you're heading into this peace and tranquility because you've done the work You've done you've put spades in buckets in that's what i feel and it's about to pay dividends the work is about to pay dividends and i feel it's both uh work and love here we go temperance patience that's coming under the four of swords this is the divine you are so on a divinely guided path areas and you know it if you're resonating with this reading things might be happening that you're just like how's oh, that happened or how oh, did i get that or is that worked you know sometimes it's it, it can be as simple as you know i don't know how to create this program on the bloody fucking computer that's usually what i'm saying yeah and then all of a sudden you just find your way through and you're like oh, i just don't even know how i just did that but it happened hand of the divine often all along the way right 
so keep going keep pushing Aries don't be frightened back into your shell that's what I'm saying because that's just not you uh, and of course the full moon in Aries and it, it just it's, it's so much I can I will I am yeah I'm taking the reins taking control of my life taking charge that's what I'm looking for look at this yes taking charge in my life right we've got the nine of cups coming under the chariot wish fulfillment yeah and ten of cups is that joy and happiness and that's where i'm feeling you're getting the balance of both you know the life success as well as love success aries yeah look at it look how happy i'm dead happy in my independence on my own doing what i'm doing and then i've got this beautiful loving relationship as well in my life how fucking blessed is this right and it's because yeah look at look sorry let me put them in the right spaces you've been through your death and rebirth and that was painful as shit it is and it's not an easy quick process either you really do have to go through it but it's a rebirth into a new life for this Aries it couldn't be more fitting right it's gorgeous so Aries don't be distracted that's what I want to say don't I want to say don't 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 lose your guts right <laughs> that's what i want to say don't lose your guts it, it, it almost like you're in sniffing distance and you might just go actually shit you know i did I, I even though i wish for it i really didn't think it had happened and now it is now i'm shitting myself don't lose your guts series know where you were heading you're the most fun funky for me sign of the zodiac keep it keep it bouncing keep your mojo yeah keep your mojo Seven of Wands here. I see through the illusions now. I know when I need to defend myself and I fucking will defend myself if I have to. I'm no longer a pushover or for someone to walk over. And that's what's bringing all this glorious success into this Aries life, yeah? No longer a pushover. Watch out though, right? Watch out, watch out. There's a liar about. I had this for, I think it was Aquarius Pisces. There's a liar about that's what I feel, okay, and, and, and I'm feeling this through these readings, so many of you are breaking through now, breaking through into your new lives, breaking through into those opportunities, despite everything that's going on, been going on, yeah, you, you keep going, you keep pushing, and, and there's people who don't like to see that in others, so just be aware, I've not put it on the board, it just feels like it's a watch out card, rather than anything to be concerned about, right, Six of Swords, out of choppy waters into smoother waters. This has been a divinely guided journey. So, Aries, I'm kind of chuckling because I'm like, you know, if you, you know, when if you've been on that like fucking bumpy road and it's just been like fucking hell, you know, roll down the mountain type energy, you can't take any more. All of a sudden, you're moving into that lovely glide path. That's what I'm feeling for this Aries. Death and rebirth completed, come full circle. But there is a risky decision coming up. Two of Swords to me, though, always just feels like the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands is about two enchanted paths opening up. Which one do you want? Do you want this one or this one? Choose it. Either's going to bring you abundance, you know. You may go on a slightly different journey to get to the end result, yeah. But that's the fun of life. That's the ride of life, isn't it? Fun of the game. But you've got to have skin in the game to play it. And that's what I mean. Don't back off. Don't stay in a safe position if you if you know this reading's for you. If it's that you're being presented with the opportunity for great success, ten of coins. Yeah, ten of coins. Great success and abundance. Don't back up from it. Look at this, yeah. Nine's coming out with it. Stand in your independence and your power, my gorgeous, gorgeous Aries. You can, you will, you are doing this wow right aries yeah you may want to watch the super moon reading because it's a super moon the new moon in fact the full moon reading <laughs> on a sudden a lot of readings today um because that really is about getting into your power yeah it really is okay i just want to take a couple of fairies now just to crown part one of this gorgeous reading for my aries yeah i've just seen strength as well they just want you to keep your mojo keep your mojo keep it moving keep it pushing boom 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 for aries thank you yeah look right this, this, this it's still there uh, the show in its strength yeah the, the let me just get that focus there you go the grace and inner strength 
needed to overcome challenges and that's where I feel yeah okay the power of loneliness uh, sorry loneliness kindness and forgiveness time to embrace how wonderful you are you are absolutely coming full circle into yourself that's what I feel because you engaged embrace the life experience that's needed let go of belief systems that no longer work for you. An important life-changing event, I told you. A situation that leads to significant opportunities. I said it to you, seven of cups here. Many, many options, yeah? Doors opening now because you completed. But you've got to take the reins. You've got to make that decision. You've got to push and power it forward, yeah? It's, it's, it's like now is not the time to slow down. Now is the time to speed up. Up. that's what I feel for this Aries yeah and and it's taking you to such a beautiful stunning place I want one more furry over this nine of coins please and this death and rebirth and yeah 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 I felt it yeah oh yeah right eight of winter you have what it takes Aries if only you believe in yourself Thinking that you're powerless when you're not. A lack of confidence that keeps you from getting what you want. Hasn't that been what we've said? Now is the time to keep it fucking pushing. Now is the time to stay in your power. Stay knowing you've got this. And then coming again. I'm taking it because it's showing. Look at this. It's gorgeous. Seven of spring. Be assertive. Don't back down from what you believe. Courageously stand up for yourself. And then they're also repeating showing the magician as well. You can do anything. Take charge of your life and <laughs> smack me in the face all right that happens you know when the divine's trying to like wake you up so and you may find that it's something like itchy on the head i don't mean seriously but you know it's like the divine going come on right um you can do anything take charge of your life you can manifest what you need to be a success it's and that's going back on there but you see what they're saying to you yeah it's all about your self-belief now and your willingness to embrace it i do feel this could be an aries who's about to get publicly recognized for something and that might be something that's you know shitting you up a bit right because you know think that can feel uncomfortable to some people and um, but either way it's like you're too far down the road that's just what i'm feeling you, you're so far down the road now you, you're not going to back up from this you fucking earned it and it's taking you to that nine and ten of cups beautiful absolutely beautiful Aries. let's leave it there uh, i am going to go over part two i do want to know more about this especially this two of swords and um, so if you are interested if you did resonate with the reading you are interested in the extended the link on how to get that is in the description box below um, if you enjoyed the reading and you haven't already please please do subscribe help us keep the channel running and as i said Aries, i am opening up some limited slots for readings in october if you want that details below but email me at soulsarantaro at gmail.com i'm having difficulty at the moment because my phone blew up on me so that's causing me a problem that's why please just make sure you're coming through the email till i get all that sorted but Aries, other than that i'm leaving it there um, do check out the uh, full moon reading if you haven't already because i think it'll really resonate resonate with you with this reading uh, and I am going to go over and do part two and um, so if I don't see you over there stay safe stay in the light please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in about a week's time love and light Aries